Tēnā tātou kato. Good evening. The Associate Education Minister is pledging not to fine parents of truant kids if the family can't afford it. David Seymour campaigned on spot fines for school absenteeism and is now in charge of the Attendance Action Plan, which features on the government's new to-do list for the next three months. While fines are likely, he told political editor Jenna Lynch, they'll only be targeted at higher income earners. Occupation. He knows the job and he knows who's boss. Prime Minister, boss. Employer, <laughs> New Zealand people. <laughs> to ensure he can do that job to the best of his ability, Christopher Luxon today braving up for his flu jab. Shane, can you come and hold my hand? <laughs> <laughs> Winter illness will not stand in the way of his action plan. After flooring it through the first 100 days list, the former CEO has announced a new 36-point plan to be delivered over the next three months. And what I'm doing is making sure we are relentlessly focused on the plan and that's very easy to get sidetracked. The plan includes many easy tickables, such as taking decisions on work they've already begun, like the transport plan and disestablishing mega polytech te Pukinga, delivering a budget, they're legally required to do so, that'll tick off some extras on the list, like legislate their promised tax cuts and credits. It's very important for us that we continue to focus the public service and focus our government. But there's one particular bullet point that could come at a hefty cost to parents. The government's launching an attendance action plan. There will be definitely a part of that that calls parents to responsibility. It's important. David Seymour's been tasked with tackling the truancy crisis. He campaigned last year on spot fines for parents whose kids don't attend school regularly. It's perhaps a little bit of political laziness. There must be other methods of sort of helping the kids. The parents might have been trying really hard and the child's just truant. So I don't think it's necessarily always going to be the parents' fault, so I think it's an unfair fine. I'm not sure whether it will make a difference. I uh, just sometimes see some people just ignore the rules. I mean, imagine if you could fix all complex problems with a fine, then I could be Prime Minister and not think about it too much. Labor says don't do it, the evidence says no. It has been tried here in New Zealand. We have the ability to be able to do it now. It has never worked. Parents can currently be fined, but only if there's a police prosecution. Seymour's election proposal was to allow the Ministry of Education to introduce its own fine system. Now he's pledging he will not impose fines on people who can't pay them. Children in poverty will be punished for not going to school. Yeah, I think what I can say is that we're going to make sure uh, any fining is not designed to make a situation worse. As for those who can afford it, though, watch your wallets. It's designed to send a message when people have had every chance, have the ability to pay and still won't play ball, then I think actually it can be acceptable to send a message and say, no, our community standard is education matters. News Hub understands the truancy plan is set to be unveiled within the next few weeks. Well, Jenna joins us now. Kia ora, Jenna. David Seymour seems to have changed his tune. What's brought that on? Yeah, finding parents is an easy drum to beat on an election campaign, but the solutions to this very complex and very real problem are a lot more nuanced than that. The drivers behind this truancy range from kids that are having to take on jobs and work to supplement their family's income to kids who are going on four week long overseas holidays. It's those parents of the overseas holidays kids that David Seymour wants to hear that fine message. He understands that there is no point fining parents who can't afford it. That will only serve to alienate those children further from the education system. Now the big elephant in the conversation here is COVID. We were all told to stay home and save lives, stay home if you are sick. And a lot of the truancy has been put back to the increase in sickness levels. Now, David Seymour believes that during that time, health and education have gone off kilter. So expect the government to start communicating a very different public health message around sickness, around what level of sickness is acceptable to take to school with you. Political editor, General Lynch, Tenakwe.